All right, just a really quick video here. Just want to go over the basics on updating a Cyanogen mod based Android smartphone. And uh, for the most part, it's pretty straightforward and uh, the default settings will, will mean that you'll get uh, notifications when you uh, have updates available. But for the most part, I turn these off because sometimes not every update is perfect and um, you know, every once in a while, someone will download an update and something doesn't go quite right or has some sort of glitch and um, then you're in a little bit of a pickle. So I always uh, set the, the updates to manual and as you just saw, I went into settings, I went into about phone and then into Synergen mod updates and here are the updates that are available. If you press this little refresh button, that'll check for updates and if there's anything available uh, or anything new since the last time you checked, it'll be here. To, um, download and install an update it's pretty straightforward just click on the little down arrow and it will start downloading and then once it's finished downloading you'll have the option to install it now there is one important thing i need to mention about running updates for signage abroad if you are updating a major version be very very cautious um, so let's say i have cm13 which is signage and mod 13 on this device at the moment. So if I tap on the menu there, I've got a system info, currently running CM13, and the, the, the build date is 2016-06-22. So about a, a couple months ago at this point. And um, as you can see, we have some new ones from yesterday. So uh, if I download and install this, chances are it's gonna work just fine. But uh, saying that, I would go ahead and make a full backup of your of your phone and um, there's a couple of ways of doing that uh, for the most part I normally just go into developer options make sure the advanced reboot is on and then I'm going to hold down the power button reboot and then I can go into the recovery and uh, from there I can make a backup and then of course, once the backup's done, I can reboot back into Android and do that update. That just means that if something screws up terribly, uh, you can at least roll back uh, by booting back into the recovery. And I do have a separate video on this and um, then you, you're back to square one. So um, yeah, just keep that in mind when doing updates. And I always make a backup before I update my own phone. Um, even though, you know, chances are nothing will go wrong it never hurts to, to be sure because we rely on these devices so much these days. Now, if you are updating from, let's say CM14 was available, like a major version, uh, if you try to install that, you're going to run into some trouble. So don't, don't do that. You need what's called a Google Apps package. And um, I'll uh, make a separate video on how to install uh, ROMs with a Google Apps package manually uh, because major versions, yeah, so, uh, going from one major version to another is not generally supported even though it comes up as an update so if you try to install it you could run into some trouble uh, in fact it's pretty pretty common that people run into trouble so wait for another video anyway that's it for now um happy updating and uh that should be all thanks let me know if you have any questions